A big change is now happening in the way that KCMO is dealing with stray animals. The city council has voted to move forward with a plan to turn animal control operations over to the Kansas City Pet Project. KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney is live at City Hall where that vote took place. So Caroline, why is this happening? Well, Ellen, this call for a change in leadership comes two years after an audit of the animal control services. But Councilwoman Teresa Lohr said earlier today that she's been working on this privatization for about four years. And despite her efforts, it was not an easy vote in the city council this afternoon as tensions ran hot inside City Hall. It is a big day. A big day for lots of little animals. Casey Pet Project won a contract to take over control of services for animals like these for all of Kansas City, Missouri, including work done by animal control officers. If they do not want to join the team of Casey Pet Project, they would have positions available to them within the city still. But the city council meeting heated up when someone raised concern for those jobs. This is wrong. Third district councilor Melissa Robinson was the only no vote in earlier committee discussions. African Americans represent 47.6% of the employees who will be impacted by this privatization proposal. And today, Robinson was still holding out for something different. Frankly, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that this proposal does not address keeping access to pensions. Despite no votes from Robinson and fellow 3rd District Councilman Brandon Ellington, the resolution passed. We talked to Tori Fugate right after that vote was taken. She says those people employed by Animal Control Services now will have the opportunity to apply for the new positions that are coming open. The city is about to go into discussions with Casey Pet Project. The Pet Project tells me they hope to have everything up and running by the end of the year. Live in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV5 News.